Hi beautiful souls, this is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance welcoming you all to my channel with all my love and all my heart. Today I'm bringing forth a reading for us to look at the energy in the Twin Flame Dynamic for the year 2021. What is the energy surrounding the Divine Masculine Collective, the Divine Feminine Collective? What are some of the challenges that the twins will be overcoming in this coming year? And what is the other storyline that is unfolding? So see what part of it resonates for you, because each one of us is on a different stage of this twin flame dynamic in the twin flame journey. It is a journey of self-love and anchoring in this higher vibration, anchoring in this higher love means for us to face our shadows, to face some of the things that we are fearful of facing. But to anchor in this great love in our heart and to make it quote unquote viable, to make it quote unquote livable in this dimension of the physicality, the third dimension, we need to really be able to courageously face our fears and to open our hearts to the depth of this beautiful connection. So it is with this intention that I am bringing forth this reading for 2021. So let's look at the energy unfolding for the Twin Flames in 2021. building blocks energy of building together gifts exchange oh i like this that's beautiful i'll go more into it as i pull out all the messages and i'm seeing a step up step down a connection a movement definitely the energy is on rebuilding parts of this connection and i'm feeling that there is this energy of being seen being lifted into higher dimensions that's opening up. Gaining a different perspective. Seeing your own colors and your uniqueness. Chaos and conflict. Energy card number 33. So overcoming this conflict. And it's interesting that this energy of chaos and conflict has come in the 2021 reading, which is the energy of five, which is the energy of chaos and conflict. But this is card number 33, which means uh, it's a higher octave of how you rise above the conflict between the two polar energies. How do you bring things in balance? How do you bring a building block together to look at each other's perspective without dimming the light okay what i'm trying to say here is how can the two polar energies express itself in totality without overshadowing the other okay without th there being a dominating effect like i will dominate you or you will dominate me so it is you rising in your colors and shining your own colors okay so there is going to be a balance that I am already seeing unfold and be restored or come to some sort of a resolution through this conflict because the energy of conflict then brings in the energy of harmony which totals to six up here let's see what's unfolding a message for the twins for 2021 angels cooperation it's a coming together Okay, so we are using the reason why the, these twin flame dynamic and the twin flame are more and more anchoring and coming in, in union, in closer and closer in alignment is to create a cooperative structure. We have moved into the age of Aquarius with Saturn and Jupiter expansion and the energy of restriction coming together coming together to create new building blocks for society, to create new building blocks for all of humanity. How can we come together, cooperate with, cooperate with one another without losing our individuality, but coming together, okay? So this is the time for attitude, for sharing, sharing of your gifts, sharing of your light, sharing of your talents, okay? It's going to bring about 
a big shift in all of humanity. So it is not just a cooperation within this dynamic, how you work with people in your life, whether it's in your workplace or in your home front with your friends, with your siblings, with your children, with your parents, with like wider family and friends. It's how are you interacting? Are you cooperating? Okay, so this is like the give and take energy where you're bringing that part in balance, making sure that there is harmony. Okay, so that is a big energy. Thank you. What is the energy for the twins for 2021, angels? Let's start with what came out first, getting to know each other. So some of you may be just about embarking on your twin flame journey, where you're going to be discovering different aspects of one another. And there is a closeness that's coming together. As you are being vulnerable, you'll be overcoming some of these past conflicts you've had in relationships or past relationships that are coming up for review. As you are bringing that part together, you're going to be deepening this bond within yourself and within the external, whoever is the holder of the divine masculine or whoever is the holder of the divine feminine energy. So I like that. This brings in more cooperation, more love, more harmony is to get to know one another. So being lighthearted about it. So we always have like this heavy, heavy, heavy energy. So totally not right now getting into a heavy commitment, but I'm feeling like being light, being humorous, being, being soft, being gentle with one another. It opens up because then we are vibrating at the energy of joy and happiness. Okay, when we are lighthearted, when we are operating in the energy of joy and happiness, that is where you are anchoring in this love vibration. Any more messages that need to come forth for the people? So we are being asked to stay very optimistic in your love life. Positive thinking and faith is going to uh, bring about more love in your life. Okay, you deserve love. This is about self-love. So I feel like there may be some, some twins who are going to go through a deep period of conflict in this coming year. But this conflict is this push and pull is so that we can learn to draw boundaries so that we can learn to understand how to love ourselves first and not be out of focused on another person. OK, not to be out of focused on another person. Any more messages for 2021? Yes, it is your soulmate. This is your twin. You will be connecting with your twin if you have not already. If you've been in this because of this chaos and conflict that has taken place, there has been a rebuilding or a need for a rebuilding that's taking place. Okay, so uh, there is a coming together of a soulmate energy that I'm seeing up here. I'm for sure seeing that. I'm feeling a couple more cards from the Romance Angels for the twins express your love so um, if in the past their your twin has not expressed how he or she feels towards you this is the time that they're going to be guided to follow their heart and speak they're going to be speaking their heart's truth in different aspects in their life and as they begin to do that, the heart chakra is going to open, the throat chakra, the Vishuddha chakra is going to open where you express and it will be safe. But that old conflict, the old energy must be cleansed away, right? Because there is an energy of harmony that we are anchoring in. One more. One more energy. Wedding. So this is definitely moving to a higher dimension, this connection is um, some of you may already be married in other you know each individually might be married to someone else that's one of the messages and perhaps that energy has to be cleansed out before the twins before you and your twin can come together okay so there may be certain cycle that needs to be ending and cleansed out in 2021 and this year will be about that part of that old cycle, the karmic cycle, 
the old relationships coming to a close so that you can open up to the soulmate energy so that you can open up to this energy that is taking you to a higher dimension to your heart's desire like a coming together stability that's a building block right definitely gorgeous energy now let's look at through tarot what is coming through for the people in 2021 what is the energy that's unfolding in 2021? What I'm going to look at is I look at the divine masculine energy. See what part resonates for you. If you are resonating more with the divine masculine energy, take it how it resonates. Each one of us has the divine masculine and the divine feminine within. Okay, so let's begin first with the divine masculine energy. Okay. Divine masculine energy and is an outward expression. What is the Divine Masculine energy in 2021? So a walking away. The main energy right now is that of walking away. So the Divine Masculine are ready to walk away from old patterns, from old unfulfilling relationships, from their past connections from their past karmic connections a big one that i'm hearing and i'm also seeing some of the divine masculines moving away from certain jobs that have been very very unfulfilling and because of that they felt trapped they felt trapped now they're moving towards their heart's desire i'm moving towards my soul where my soul is taking me i'm moving towards where I can express myself authentically. I'm moving towards away from conflict and chaos and towards my soul's light. And I see that in my divine feminine. If they have connected with you and they had not expressed how they feel, I want to walk towards my divine feminine is what I'm feeling here. Okay, so this is the energy, main energy of the Divine Masculine Collective in this year. It's walking away from the old and entering a new dimension. That's what I'm seeing here. And for the Divine Feminine, what is their energy in 2021? One energy for the Divine Feminine. Continue to nurture yourself. This is the energy. Seven of Pentacles. Slowly and steadily. Growing your garden. What you believe in. Your self-worth. People around you following your own dreams, nurturing this connection within your heart, slowly and steadily, having this utter faith in divine timing, knowing that things will manifest as they are meant to. There's no rushing in growing this tree fast, fast, fast. You understand that this is a process and you're learning patience, you're developing great insight, great depth of knowledge as you connect with the earth element. You nurture yourself and people around you. And above all, you nurture what you stand for and believe in. This is your energy. Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. And I saw that there is light coming from the hand into the earth. So your energy is blessing Mother Earth. As you nurture yourself and people around you, your dreams, and you encourage yourself and others, you stand up for what you believe in, you take leadership, you take charge of your life, and release the past hurts, open up your heart, you are blessing Mother Earth through your energy. That's what I'm saying, you're blessing the entire Earth. Beautiful, you're a blessing. And do you see what I'm seeing here right now? Is this divine masculine, doesn't matter male or female, walking towards that sun, walking towards that light. And look at all this lit up. It's interesting in this particular depiction, it's a female. And in this one, it's a male, right? So I'm also sensing that the divine masculine collective is opening to their emotions, is opening to their heart, is opening to true connections. No more of falsity. And over here, I'm sensing the Divine Feminine's honoring, respecting and nurturing the masculine energy within her, 
around her and sending love, respect and harmony to men and the masculines in her life. Okay, because I'm definitely sensing that a lot here for 2021. So what is the, let's, let's just keep expanding on this, okay? There is no set pattern of what I thought I'll check into the mind heart. Whatever the spirit is guiding me, I'm going with. Let's expand more on what are the divine masculines. First, let's look at what are they leaving behind? What are they leaving behind, angels? What are they leaving behind? Okay. So perhaps what they're leaving behind is a known structure, a known, a known security. Okay, so this is the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is perhaps where they have felt, in this case I'm feeling like they've perhaps felt trapped in materialism or they felt trapped in their job, which was very safe and secure for them, which nurtured them for a while but it no longer feels nurturing to them it no longer feels like it is satisfying so they want to follow their soul's urge their soul's desire perhaps for some of the divine masculines i'm also sensing that they were perhaps in some sort of a relationship okay they could have been married they could have been engaged take it how it resonates they could have been in a committed relationship um, and, I'm, and i'm talking about intimate relationship and and there was th that person exerted power over them through money okay so um so, so a lot of that energy is also i'm feeling is they're walking away from that where they felt trapped with someone in power someone in um definite power where they felt powerless when they were here in the situation however the situation is it could be in love where i'm feeling this and in this wedding case, I'm also not feeling just in love. I'm feeling like where they felt committed. To me, this feels like a higher commitment. And this can also be a higher commitment to a job where they felt that they had to do certain things. So the Divine Masculine Collectives I see are walking away from that. Now, let's look at what is this energy of the Seven of Pentacles. And I want to look at what has led up to this Seven of Pentacles for the Divine Feminines in 2021. Can I know a little bit more on this Seven of Pentacles energy? Yes. Thank you. So what has led up to a developing more patience, understanding, continuing to nurture yourself and people around you has been past conflict and chaos in your love life in your love life it could have been in this connection but i'm also sensing it's beyond this connection i'm feeling that there was a loss lot of loss sadness heartache where you felt unfulfilled okay you gave a lot and it was not returned so um, i'm feeling non-reciprocity here okay so this created a lot of sadness and it brought your vibration down divine feminines so this has led up to you have grown a lot through this rebuilding okay there have been many tower moments you have had in your life up till 2020 many many tower moments these breakdowns breakups heartaches which felt good at one time i don't mean the breakup felt good i meant a connection that felt good you felt you were really on top of things but things not manifesting this could even be related to home front this could even be related to your brothers sisters you know your children your parents just close family and friends there was a lot of discontentment that took place with this energy and i feel like there were a lot of things that you had built on solid foundation it broke down it broke down and it really had you look at yourself and say and I feel some of you really blamed yourself like it was my fault you know I should have done this but you are rebuilding yourself I'm feeling that there is a rebuilding that's taking place for you that has taken place for you that you have been working on wherein you are learning to show your true colors Rise once again in that feminine energy, you know. See yourself in this beautiful light and love and open yourself up to the divinity around. 
to your own self and your own uniqueness. And with this, with this, you're learning to nurture yourself. You're learning that things are taking place in divine timing. And that if this love is meant for, then it will come forth. Okay? This is your soulmate. If you've connected with them and you feel that deep bond, you feel that, you know that. This is the time for clearing and a coming together. Beautiful. So let's go back into the divine masculine energy to see where are they moving towards? Where is this light? Where is this divine masculine collective in 2021 moving towards, angels? I want one more. So what I'm seeing here is where the Divine Masculine Collective is headed towards in 2021 is as they are moving away from this past stronghold, whether it's in a job, whether it is in a connection where they felt bound. Okay, They felt bound with that energy. They felt bound there. They're freeing themselves. So they are taking charge of their mind. We got the Six of Swords here which is about moving away from negative thinking. So I'm feeling in 2021, what's going to happen is as they're taking these steps towards their soul light, towards where their heart is taking them, they are now learning to navigate the power of the mind. And as they learn to navigate the power of the mind, you know, all these people who were bickering and saying, oh, are you sure you're going to be able to do this? How are you going to do this? Uh, how are you going to make money? What will happen? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, all that chitter, chatter, chitter, chatter. They're moving, rising above it. They are crossing away from turbulent waters towards more calmer waters. And, and, and I'm seeing here in turbulent waters and karma waters is even though this is the air element, I'm feeling that because they're moving out of this emotional, they're now following what their heart is calling to. What their heart is calling to, they need to get the mind in alignment with the heart. So the mind chatter from other people and other naysayers who have stopped, perhaps they see you, you've connected with it, they feel that deep bond, they know you're the twin, they know you're the soulmate, they want to take this to the next stage, but they don't know how. They don't know how because they felt bound. In this year, they're walking away from that. I see that happening as walking away from that. You're not in the chasing energy. You are, you as a divine feminine, I feel, I shouldn't say you, could be the divine masculine watching. The divine feminine is in the nurturing energy here. When the divine feminine is nurturing herself, focusing on herself, she's drawing the divine masculine towards herself. Okay, she's drawing it because she's focusing on she's focusing on what the pentacles which is the earth element she's not focusing on the emotions here she's bringing balance back into the earth element continuing to ground her energy continuing to nurture herself with things that are emotionally fulfilling perhaps you know you are going to take that spa vacation you are going to hang out with friends you're going to eat at good places you're going to you're going to nurture yourself by wearing good clothes whatever it is that feels right for you and how it feels nurturing to you no judgment on this as you focus on creating that aspect and I want to put wealth creation in a beautiful way, abundance creation, wealth creation, prosperity creation. As you're focusing your energy on that, you are drawing the masculine, which was quote unquote bound to the earth realm, into the realm of emotions, okay, into the home of the divine feminine. And what's going to happen is what they're moving towards is they're taking charge of their mind, okay? So they're moving towards a better mindset. All right, you know what? I'm going to do this. I can do this. Now, as they're doing it, there's, there's going to be that part of, I'm going to go back to the drawing board. Okay, should I give her this gift? Maybe I need to do this. Should I, should I build myself up here? So many options are going to open up to the Divine Masculines as they take this journey. To me, this feels like almost like a portal. Okay, Eight of Cups in this case really feels like closing one door, 
walking into another, closing that door to chaos and conflict and rebuilding a life. Okay, coming into their own. That's what I'm feeling. They want to express how they feel. All right. So they're figuring out how am I going to express myself? Okay. I want to tell my divine feminine how I feel, what I want. And they're going to figure some things out. There are lots of options that are going to open up for the divine masculines in this coming year. Different emotionally fulfilling things for them to do for their work and options that open up. And they are the master creators here. They will choose what gives them the greatest happiness. Is they're holding on to this flame, okay? They're holding on to this flame and they want to share this passion, this love, this tremendous heat that they feel. I really am feeling the only word that's coming to my mind when I'm seeing this is passion, passion, passion. Okay, passion ignites. I want to take this to the distance. I want to take this to the to the ultimate. How can I ground this connection and come together and create stability? Because I'm seeing this energy of stability right here. Okay, wanting to have this. This is the 11-11, the four of uh, wands energy here. 11-11, anchoring in our flames where we can sing and dance and really make merry with ourselves and let's have this carnival around us okay how am i going to be able to bring this balance bringing this balance back into six of swords see after 2021 we're going to move into 2022 which is the energy of six which is towards balance it is through chaos new new options and new doors open i'm seeing that in the divine masculine energy of a coming together Okay, there's justice here. Okay, I feel I'm seeing a lot of romance, a lot of love opening up. But first energy up is I ain't giving up on this. I don't care what others are saying. I still hold this truth and I know what this connection is. And this is where I am truly guided towards is my divine feminine. Beautiful. So where are the divine feminines headed in 2021, angels? Oh, I love this. Maybe I'll just take one. Let's see if there's another one that wants to come through for the collective. Okay, thank you, angels. First one up is the High Priestess. You are crowned. You are the Goddess of the Moon, Divine Feminines. You are going to grow more and more in your powers as this mystic healer, as this great priestess, holder of these mysteries, the depths of the depths of the unseen lies within you. For your connection with earth, for your connection in honoring yourself and honoring people around you, I'm feeling so many of the divine feminines are going to be deeply, deeply connected. You are very intuitive. Your power of intuition is not going to be just on point. It's going to be out of this world. That's what I'm seeing. Out of this world. Look at all these chakras being lit up. Okay. You are being lit up. Your energy field is going to be completely lit up. Okay. That energy field is what is going to draw the masculine towards you is not you in the chasing energy this is not the chasing energy you're not i'm not seeing any chasing energy here i'm seeing you standing in your power as this high priestess so this is also the energy too okay a big change in this coming year okay of a coming together you're coming into your own as the high priestess another card of two okay so this is the card of bringing two aspects in balance okay where there were these Issues of past emotions, past hurt, perhaps in this connection and past connections and all of it coming up and now bringing that balance on the earth realm. What I'm seeing here is what's unfolding for you is through this inner depth of knowledge and connection that you have to the spiritual realm and honoring your own self, I'm seeing a big light in your third eye. Your third eye is being lit up. You're being crowned by the energy of the moon, the mysteries of the moon, the depths. You are in that receptive mode. 
there's a lot of downloads you're going to get in this year okay and i'm feeling you're going to be moving completely into a new dimension a new life it's as if the old life was a thing of the past and you open up the door and you are in a new life another energy of two that's opening up a completely shift in a perspective i'm seeing that you are your life is going to in a very positive way turn completely upside down you would have never seen this you couldn't have imagined what's coming forth for you there is you are in this effortless flow you are absolutely graceful divine feminine and you are tapped in tuned in into the heart of the universe into the flow of the universe into the flow of the abundance knowing and trusting yourself in a completely new way i'm feeling a massive change you won't even quote unquote recognize who you were starting 2020 to 20 end of 2021 what i'm trying to say is up to 2020 was the divine feminine a certain way by the end of 2021 there's going to be a new version of the divine feminine i'm seeing a major major upgrade and a change complete change in the divine feminine energy here gorgeous mom so this is beautiful can i get some more messages on let's start with the divine masculine side what are they doing towards their connection what are they doing towards their connection and the aquarius energy comes through which is the energy of the star healing going towards their north star okay the aquarian energy speaks of is radical change radical shift shift in perspective this is and an aquarius energy is going to have you completely shift that around that's the energy that's coming in for the divine masculines they're going through the healing phase they are there is hope there is inspiration you inspire them the divine feminines inspire the divine masculines they're connected to the heart of the universe and they know it is through a connection and a strength of connection with you that they they are completely whole complete and they can share that whole and completeness and experience that here on earth there was the four of wands energy right this is beautiful healing healing of their connection with the divine feminine healing of their past wounds healing of the past emotions where they were betrayed and what i'm sensing here is that as the divine feminine is constantly nurturing her nurturing herself and gaining more and more connection to the spiritual realm and the downloads and she begins to shine the light as she shifts her life around it's this light do you see this this is all connected this is the divine masculine energy connecting to that light where the divine feminine is i don't want to say coming down but she's shifting her perspective and the divine masculine is connecting to that light and this is that connection in between the two of you this is beautiful let's look at i mean i had like six seven decks that i was going to be using but i think all the answers are coming through this deck this is wonderful i don't need any clarifiers so let's look at where is this um with this healing card where are the divine masculines heading towards in this connection where they're heading with this healing energy in 2021 angels Where are the divine masculine collective head headed with this healing energy in this connection? Wow. Wow, look at this. Firstly, just look at the imagery on this deck. Okay. What does that make you feel like when you look at this? Forget about what's written on top. So much light. So much color. that is added and infused in the aura so this healing is going to open up the divine masculines in a way as never before there is this huge tremendous download and a shift in the divine masculine collective in in your life in your world in your spirituality it's a complete shift there is tremendous movement they're moving towards following their passions inspiration what inspires me what is my groove i'm following what my heart desires 
and they are connected this healing energy they're connected to the spiritual realm and as they're connected to the spiritual realm they're getting these downloads they're getting these push leave that move towards this okay i'm giving you these new options says the universe all right follow what you believe in with this healing energy they're moving towards taking charge of their life coming forward towards the divine feminine really a lot of communication a lot of movement a lot of passionate communication coming towards the divine feminine energy in the year 2021 and i talked about the moon right we talked about you being crowned as this moon energy and i said the divine feminine so they're definitely connecting with the feminine energy within them they're connecting with their own psychic ability their psychic senses are being opened up like never before i'm feeling that the divine masculines where they were hidden is just going to be like a burst of energy coming forth that's what i'm seeing in this year in 2021 okay so um that's a gorgeous energy uh for the divine masculines thank you so while this is taking place in the lives of the divine masculines and they're wishing to come towards their divine counterpart, what's the energy for the divine feminines towards their masculines in 2021? This is my yes card. Yes, 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 yes. This is the yes card. And this is the yes card because she is fulfilling her dreams. She is taking the leap of faith towards her dreams. This is the nine of cups towards her life mission, her dreams, her fulfillment. What makes me happy? Taking this leap of faith towards her ultimate happiness. She's ready to jump with joy for all the things that make her happy. That is this energy that's coming forth for the divine feminine for herself and towards this connection i trust in the divine i trust in this divine energy i've been waiting patiently nurturing myself i'm receiving the downloads i am leaving behind this chaos and conflict and i understand why the chaos and conflict came in my life i am rising in my power rebuilding myself I am rebuilding myself. I'm feeling really good about it. I'm shifting my perspective about things in life, about loss, how I have always perceived losses, how I have perceived money, how I have perceived wealth creation, how I have perceived masculines, men or women, does not matter, whoever is your divine counterpart. So how have I perceived them? You're bringing healing and you are now I'm feeling here. You see these two boxes? This is amazing. This is that treasure chest right here. And this is also this treasure chest. You are springing up and you are, this is explosive energy. This is explosive energy. You know, this is my new deck that came in, the Light Sears deck. It just came in the mail like a few days ago. And uh, one of the first things that the author asks is to find your light seer card and a shadow seer card so which energy felt so I went through it this was and this was the light seer card so this was my card this is my light seer card that came up and said every time it shows up in a reading it's going to bring forth that answer that you're looking for something that you want to share so this is where my energy is at is jumping towards my life's dreams my heart's desires lovingly going forward fearlessly moving towards what i want without hurting anybody okay so i'm also seeing here this is beautiful and i think we will end the reading i didn't need any of these other decks that i have here we're going to end the reading for 2021 with this this is beautiful moving towards heart's desire coming here in amazing amount of communication that comes in within this connection you guys are going to get to know one another there's going to be a lot of expression of love that comes forth, opening of the hearts. And maybe, you know, it might start off rocky and uh, there will be lots of exchanges that are taking place. 
okay when we talk about exchanging gifts it is you unlock each other's gifts that's what the divine masculine divine feminine in a twin flame connection do when you come in and then there is this separation and there is this conflict and you go back it has because this big energy comes in boom like a little explosion okay we took this little explosion and with that explosion there was a birthing of a gift it was something that triggered just like that energy of um, Uranus it comes in just like a burst of energy this electrical impulse that comes in and you completely open up that's what I'm seeing look at them look at both the energies here divine masculine energy bursting with colors and joy and happiness and completely in tune with the cosmic energy and look at the divine feminine okay this is passion this is emotion all coming together all coming together for one another for each other that's what i'm seeing opening up in 2021 there is a amazing look at this this is where we are going with there is so much of the download that's taking place in our pineal gland it's taking place in our third eye we're getting a lot of downloads and a connection from the higher spiritual realm okay so do you see the spiral like you know the nines so there is new knowledge that comes in there is new information there is a birthing of a new between the twin flame dynamic and a connection okay the divine masculines are going to take charge and they are going to ascend to their throne they will take charge of their mind and take charge of their life and rebuild to what their heart desires they know that slowly and steadily moving towards their goals and dreams they're going to begin to follow their heart's desire slow and steady they're going to there's this exchanging gift so in this year they'll be they'll surprise you divine feminine they'll just come up and they'll surprise you with a gift okay where you were absolutely not expecting something it just comes in unexpectedly okay because there is a we there is a change that's taking place all right there is a big karmic shift that's taking place i told you right you are shifting they are shifting the wheel of fortune is changing jupiter expansion in this year is taking place karmic lessons have been learned with these karmic lessons being learned in our own individual lives and in this and within this connection so there will be that shifting that takes place all right continue to be patient in here okay there is a blending of the two energies that's taking place all right so continue to look forward to whatever it is that you are doing with hope with inspiration with love with harmony and with utter trust in this divine providence utter trust in this divine gift that's coming towards you this is such beautiful beautiful energies that have come forth from this deck and i want to thank the author for this oh my gosh this deck is like my deck now um so i'm going to end the twin flame reading right now with a final message that yes this is coming together this is what you've always wanted okay so there is this energy that's opening up in this year okay communication passion love connection your heart's desire within this connection are coming together beautiful beautiful energy a beautiful message that's opening up for the twin flames for 2021 I send you love. I send you light. This is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance. Bye.